Hey, this is Dylan with Bike to Everything, and I'm going to be securing all the components of a public C7 bike today. So, I have uh, three things to attach. Um, I have some wheel locks here. Uh, this will prevent our wheels from being stolen. Um, and I have a bike seat lock, or a seat post lock. This is going to be replacing this. And then I even have a bike saddle bolt that uh, you can use, but I'm just gonna show you uh, how to do it. So uh, once you have the seat and the wheels locked, then all you really need to do is lock it with one U-lock like this. Um, right now, I have one of these that you can kind of go through the tires to lock it, but you don't really wanna do this every time. Toss it away or put it on the wheel locks. You'll need a hex multi-key to uh, remove some things like the seat saddle bolt and the seat post bolt. Um, I have one here that's kind of too small. Sometimes you can't uh, really get enough leverage. So if you have uh, bigger ones, those would be better. I have a normal wrench here to take off the wheel nut. Uh, this one is also not super great if they're pretty tight. Do you have kind of a uh, 15 millimeter wrench, that would work best. So, uh, first thing we wanna do is just remove it from one side here. Okay. It is tighter than I thought it was. go okay so this was on here pretty tight uh, I'm not sure if these were factory uh, sealed or if they were just um, tightened really tight by the bike shop who replaced a tire so um, here we have the pinhead wheel locks uh, these wheel locks are for um, a hub right a uh, single axle hub right here so the way it works is we need to uh, just replace the top here um, as opposed to other bikes where you might replace the skewer and you'd lock that. Um, so here's the key and then here is the lock. Now you only need to lock one side because if they undo the other one and this is still uh, locked, they wouldn't be able to get the wheel off. But if you want to be extra secure, you can buy two of these sets because each one of these comes with two, which you can lock on one side of the wheel. But if you want to be extra secure, you can buy two of the sets to lock both sides, which will, of course, uh, make it more difficult. So, uh, you just make sure I am putting them on right. So, here we have the picture of this little tool here. We'll take this off. This, this washer here, um, right there. And then, oh, it looks like then it has the washer right here. And then we have this lock, which this is just a piece of rubber. And so I can kind of put this on and go like so. And eventually you take this key and you turn it until it kind of clicks in which can be, there it is, and then you can flip that, and then uh, to tighten it, you can take any Allen key, really, any tool that you can just fit through this hole here, and then you can use that as leverage to tighten it. So once you get it uh, tight, then your wheel is locked. You don't have to use a cable anymore and you're good. We just have to do this with the other wheel. So I'm gonna get that nice and tight. Okay, so let's go do the other wheel over here. Uh, gotta unscrew this one as well. Uh, you might have a better tool than me because um, this one can't get very, oh, but it worked pretty well on this side. It was a little harder on the back wheel. Okay, there we go. Let's 
So we take this baby off. We don't need their washer either. Or actually we do after we put ours on. So we put this guy on. You know what? On this front wheel, there's a little bit of an indent here. So I think I'm going to leave their washer just to make sure I have full contact. And then I'll put that one on. And then I'll put the locking skewer on top of this. And I'll get the key in. There we go. And I will tighten this up. Okay, there it goes. Sometimes it's hard to get it to click into place. There it is. All right, now the uh, front and back wheel are locked. Let's uh, lock the seat. So if we look at the seat over here, uh, we have two things. We have the seat post, uh, which is right here. Um, just have a normal uh, Allen key. And then we actually have the, uh, the saddle bolt, which is right here. Um, it's kind of blocked uh, by, by the light here. So first we're gonna just uh, lock the seat post here and I'll show you that we can get a bolt for the saddle but I'm not gonna do it for this bike. So uh, I'm gonna get an Allen key here, find which one I need. Just unscrew this a bit, and I'm going to take the whole seat out. So, we don't need this right now. I'm going to unscrew this a bit more, and we can actually take this whole, this whole thing off. Of course, it's probably stuck on there pretty good. So we're going to have to move it around a little bit. There it goes. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, we don't need this anymore because this uh, is just a normal Allen key and any thief can have a multi-tool like this. You can buy anywhere and you could just take it off. So we don't want to use that. Uh, uh, we have one of my favorite uh, bike security companies, Fortified, makes this bike seat security, which you replace the whole thing. And it has a proprietary kind of hex key here that you need their tool to use. Um, you could buy one of their things and then walk around with one of this, one of these tools, uh, but they're not quite popular enough for that to happen. So I've never had a problem with it. Uh, Fortified also makes these locking lights that I have that are pretty nice on a different uh, one of my bicycles. Okay, so this, uh, I um, checked their website and contacted their support team to, to get the right size here. Uh, I'm forgetting which size it is here. Let's see. It is 29.8 millimeter. So this is the size specifically for the uh, seat tube, the frame here. Um, the seat stem is a smaller, of course, so it fits inside. So this is the size you want to find. Okay. So now we have a new one on there. We can put the seat back in. And we can just screw this in once we've uh, once we've gotten it tight enough, we now have a locked seat post, and so nobody's going to be able to come in and take this. Uh, 
you do have to make sure you kind of carry this around if you want to change the seat height. Uh, but yeah, you know, I carry around like a little little bag like this with all my tools and just throw it in a bike bag when I'm when I'm biking around. So um, another option, of course, for the bike seat is uh, a bike seat lock that just kind of goes through right here and comes around through the frame and locks. And this will prevent your saddle and your seat post from getting stolen. Uh, and I use that on a bunch of other bicycles. Uh, but if you have this option, it definitely is like a cleaner look and a little bit easier to manage. Um, just depends on your preference. Uh, I think they're both similar prices, so. Uh, now, I'm gonna show you how to replace the saddle bolt if you wanted to. So, uh, I'm just gonna loosen this reflector here a little bit. Um, this is partly why I'm not going to change the saddle bolt because you have this reflector that kind of makes it really inconvenient for people to get in here and most of what anti-theft is is just inconvenience for these people who are trying to steal your bike. They just don't want to deal with it. So if you look under here um, at that key you can see it's just again a normal allen key. I can just take my multi-tool and I can kind of unscrew it and just pull it out. Um, and Fortified also makes uh, bike seat security. You know, yeah, this is a locking saddle bolt. And so right here is pretty much the same size screw uh, that also has that proprietary kind of uh, key and you just stick it in here. And you don't have to worry about anybody stealing it. Um, just uh, when you're changing this out, make sure you remember where the seat is because if you loosen this, you can actually move the saddle forward and back and you can also kind of pivot it. So um, if you liked what your seat was at before, make sure you remember. Uh, if not, this is, this is how you adjust kind of the pivot and forward and back of your seat. So once you're done with that, you kind of go in here and uh, tighten this up. So. So uh, now, once you uh, have locked your wheels, locked your seat, those are kind of the main things. We can just take my favorite uh, Avis lock and lock it to something. This is actually too big, but if there was a bike rack here, um, it would be pretty easy. Um, now, if you want extra security, there's more you can do. Uh, for example, right here is just a normal Allen key that people can, can remove if they were really wanting to. Of course, to take things, you'd have to like cut the cables and just kind of take everything off. So um, I, people usually don't do that from what I've seen, um, but you can get uh, an extra like special lock for this as well. So now when you're riding around, you're gonna need these two tools to make sure that if anything goes wrong, you can remove the wheels to change your flat tire or uh, change the seat height or adjustment or tighten anything. So this thing that comes with your uh, seat post and saddle bolt and then this thing that comes with your uh, wheel locks. So you can put these in your bike bag, backpack, whatever, just don't lose them. Also, they have a special number on this one that you can write down or take a picture of so that if you do lose this you can order a new one from Pinhead um, and this is kind of Fortified's standard key so they can get you another one of these two if you lose them. Okay cool now you know how to uh, lock your bike up for any city excursion and you don't have to deal with this annoying thing throwing that away uh, and uh, enjoy riding your bike. Go to biketoeverything.com for more tips.